Audio Jungle. Uh, that when I explained range and endurance, so that operation of the aircraft, different different operation I had shown you to remember. So Like. So these are the different different attitudes of the aircraft, na? Yes or no? Different different attitudes, na? Operation. So definitely this will be the climbing part. Very important. This is cruise part and this is what gliding or. Decent, a decent flight. So <clears throat> here in this zone, check in this zone. What happening? Altitudes, altitude. Here it is increasing. Yes or no? Altitude increasing. In this case, here what happening? Altitude constant. Take this portion. Altitude decreasing. So in this way, you can uh, generalize the operation of the aircraft. One where altitude is what increasing. Another where altitude is what constant. Next. The operation where altitude is what decreasing. So it is like climbing, cruising, and gliding. That three are the main operation of the aircraft. In fact, here we have a takeoff, and this is the landing operation. So here, this is the ground operation. Yes or no? Take off and landing. It's a ground operation. <clears throat> Climbing, cruising, and gliding. These are the basically operation in air, airborne condition. Yes or no? Means that aircraft when left the ground called airborne. So. All three climbing, cruising, and gliding, these operations are in air. So that is our main part of discussion. Okay. Now, so in this uh, climbing, first we will start climbing. Okay, this is very, very important. Why I am saying important because many times question they had asked based on the climbing operation. They will ask why what is the climbing rate? Okay. What is the time taken to climb from this altitude to to this altitude? Question will be make like this. So this is very important. Okay. This is very very important. They may ask question. Related to range to cover this much of altitude from ground. What is the respect to range? What is that that altitudes when that rate of climb is this and angle of climb is this? So many questions they can 
ask and they already have asked in an exam okay so that's the reason this is very important so mark it important no mark it important all right so for this first i will draw the diagram so that you can start this topic like this so you start drawing this diagram because we have to analyze this properly with diagram first free body diagram and all okay this is the aircraft is made clearly or not right Okay. Now for this aircraft, this is the weight. Obviously, this is the velocity. So lift will be perpendicular to the motion of the aircraft. All right. Then uh, drag will be just opposite to the motion of the aircraft. So here we have a. Uh, drag and thrust is the propelling force just opposite to the drag na so it's like this is the separate diagram i'm going to draw so there should not be any confusion okay right okay <clears throat> lift drag weight thrust among all very important theta what is the theta climbing angle what is the theta it's climbing angle or or it's called angle of climb then this is true in 12th standard mechanics we had seen if this is the theta then this angle is also theta yes or no so you can say weight component you will take this will be w cos theta and this side it will be b w sin theta agree check <clears throat> this should be very clear this should be very clear okay so that flight path angle if you check because it is not flying in a horizontal condition it is from the horizontal it is making one inclination called angle of climb or climbing angle all right now so the force analysis we have to do what are the forces check here this is the w this is the lift okay 
this side it is drag because velocity is not here this is the velocity of the aircraft this is the drag and obviously to propel the aircraft in forward direction this is what thrust if this angle from the horizontal is theta so this is the basic trigonometric in 12th standard mechanics you know if this is theta so this will be theta this weight will have a two component this is w so this side it is w cos theta and this side it is w sin theta so summation of force in direction of uh, you say lift or upward direction you say or in direction of lift huh? so what is that lift and downward force is nothing but w cos theta is equal to zero summation of force in direction of drag what is that check drag plus w sin theta is equal to first this is equation number two. yes or no there should not be any doubt if you have any doubt you ask okay so from equation one what is that l minus w cos theta or l is equal to w cos theta or l by w is cos theta. okay so today in today's session what i am teaching here it is very important for gate question they are asking from this topic every year they are asking question l by w is nothing but cos theta okay l by w is nothing but <coughs> cos theta all right now load factor you might heard earlier i had not discussed i think but here i'll write load factor okay it is the ratio of lift to weight of aircraft okay it is denoted by n so <clears throat> now n is equal to what l by w and l by w what you got here it is cos theta l by w is nothing but cos theta tell me if theta is equal to 0 it means it's a horizontal flight or straight or level flight yes or no it means that aircraft is fl flying like this so if theta is zero then what will be cos zero it is one so check n is equal to that time one means l by w means l is equal to w check what is this case this is the level flight or not remember steady level flight now means this is the weight and this is the lift agree or not <coughs> right this is case 2 this is case 2 check now so very special case one if theta is zero it means it is the horizontal flight or straight flight or level flight check the aircraft orientation also i have drawn horizontal flight means 
क्लाइंबिंग एंगल जीरो थीटा इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स वॉट मीन्स क्लाइंबिंग एंगल जीरो दैट मीन्स इट इज द स्ट्रेट फ्लाइट लेवल फ्लाइट सेकेंड केस टू इफ थीटा इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री मीन्स If theta is equal to 90 degree, means this is what vertical flight. Okay. It is somewhat like this is the aircraft you can say, huh? Nah? This is the aircraft. Yes or no? This will be the weight always acting downward, and it is moving in forward direction. So forward direction will be what thrust. Opposite direction will be what drag. And here, this is what lift perpendicular to the. perpendicular to the direction of the motion this is the motion of the aircraft try to relate it theta na see this is the theta from horizontal it is theta if i make theta is equal to 90 degree so that means it becomes vertical flight just imagine it and draw properly na draw the diagram accurately So if it is 90 degree, if it is 90 degree, it means it will be like draw the diagram properly like this. Agree? So in this case, if theta is 90, so what will be the cos 90? Zero. What will be the n? N is nothing but L by W is equal to Is equal to cos ninety means zero. That means L is equal to W. So what is the mean of it? Obviously, that weight cannot be zero. In actual, for any aircraft, that weight cannot be zero. So what value will be zero? What value will be zero? Lift will be zero. Lift will be zero. So how that aircraft is what flying? How it is going? See in air show and all you have seen, no? Twenty six uh, January. Have you seen that? No? Row that aircraft show and all hmm? in Delhi, no? So that aircraft is what going vertically because of this thrust only. So this thrust will be what? Drag plus weight. There is no no lift force. So for that reason, for the vertical flight, for the vertical flight, what is the load factor? What is the load factor for the vertical flight? Load factor. Means n that will be zero. This is the gate question. They have asked in your gate. Okay, this was the gate question. They simply had asked for the vertical flight. What is the load factor for the vertical flight? What is the load factor? Okay, so it's not less than zero. It's exactly zero. If I am saying vertical flight. so it just like a vertical take off like helicopter yes or no so here i must say like for the helicopter thrust you may get from the rotor you will get thrust in upward direction yes or no always but if it is uh, like during landing or take off vertical take off and landing but if it is flying then thrust vectoring will be there 
one thrust vector will uh, give the propelling force in forward direction. Hence, air, uh, helicopter is what flying. I mean, uh, moving in forward direction because of the thrust vectoring. So, for the aircraft, always remember for vertical aircraft, your load factor will be zero. That is very important, and it was asked in gate. So, be careful. Okay, there should not be any uh, doubt. All right. Now. This is the one very important point here I have discussed. Okay. Next. Next. We will go for the force balancing that we have seen. Another equation 2 also I had drawn. If you check the equation 2, what was the equation 2 here? See, this is the equation 2, right? So, from equation 2, we will see. What is the equation to check? <clears throat> it is nothing but drag. It is nothing but drag plus W sin theta is equal to first. So, what is the W sin theta? First minus drag. What is the sin theta? plus minus drag divided by weight yes or no thrust minus drag divided by weight which is nothing but sin theta if you check this the triangle for the aircraft if you draw check for the takeoff condition i, I mean for the climbing condition this is the triangle na? for the climbing i will draw here this is also called velocity triangle check this is the actual condition for the aircraft this is the velocity with that aircraft is what moving in forward or, or climbing climbing velocity not climbing velocity but you can say that aircraft velocity during the climbing okay and uh, here this is what theta so if you draw that triangle check here triangle is what forming if you draw the triangle so triangle will be like this This is the one triangle. Yes, this is what theta. And we have a velocity. Where is the velocity? This is the V infinity. No? So V infinity. V infinity, that is the aircraft velocity during the climbing condition. This is what? This is what this is nothing but horizontal in terms of velocity pure right. This is the horizontal velocity. I must say this is what Vh and this is the vertical velocity, which is nothing but V V. Obviously, that aircraft is what going in forward uh, up direction means it is gaining altitude. So that component one component will be this vector sum, and this uh, this is the another velocity vector, and this is the this should be in upward direction. Obviously, it is gaining altitude, so this vertical velocity what? It will go in an upward direction. Velocity vector. This is called velocity vector. You can write here also if you want. Velocity vector. Okay. So, from the velocity vector, if you check, sin theta is equal to what? Vertical velocity and this vertical velocity also called Vc. Why it is called Vc? What is the Vc? V C V for velocity C for climbing because that upward if it is gaining altitude it means it is climbing so in terms of velocity this velocity uh, V C will tell you that climbing velocity V infinity is not a climbing velocity this is the velocity of the aircraft during the climbing but if someone is what asking what is the climbing velocity so that will be the vertical component this is the vertical component this will tell you that aircraft is what climbing like climbing speed is what uh, if I say 10 meter per second means every second it is climbing 10 meter. That's the mean of climbing velocity. Okay. So sine theta is nothing but V V divided by V infinity or V C divided by V infinity. So what is the V C? Because we are interested in this. 
this is nothing but climbing velocity vc vc is nothing but v infinity sin theta you say this is equation 3 agree there should not be any doubt no yes or no so this is what climbing velocity they are asking in exam what is the climbing velocity so if you know theta if you know the aircraft speed then you can calculate how to how to get theta it's very simple sin theta is t minus d by w huh? yes or no so i will give heading what is the heading here now two heading very important two parameters what we have to calculate in climbing every time they are asking number one climbing angle they are asking number two they are asking climbing velocity in exam they are asking two things climbing velocity or climbing angle climbing velocity also called as rate of climb as i told you if vc this climbing velocity is nothing but vc okay or vv vertical na? or vv depends different different look it is given different climbing angle is theta so theta and vc's main parameters in climbing in gate they were asked question from here in climbing what are the two important parameters theta and vc hope you understood what is the theta climbing angle what is the vc it is rate of climb or climbing velocity yes or no these are the two i am repeating again and again it is very important for your exam okay so don't take it light it is very important topic now so i have two heading what is that that is nothing but rate uh, rate of climb or i should first write climbing angle that will be better no? so first need to calculate climbing angle theta how to calculate climbing climbing angle theta it is nothing but you have seen sin theta is equal to equation number 3 check sin theta is equal to t minus d by w so this is the theta climbing angle it is nothing but sin inverse t minus d by This is the climbing angle. Second heading is what? Climbing velocity or rate of climbing. What is the rate of climbing or rate of climb? It is Vc. What is the Vc? Just now you have seen this Vc is nothing but from the velocity triangle. From the velocity triangle you have seen it is v infinity sin theta if somewhere you write down no problem somewhere you write down what you have to write here no? this v infinity is nothing but this v infinity is nothing but aircraft velocity or Free stream velocity it should be very clear okay all right now <clears throat> if you check this is nothing but v infinity what is the sine theta sine theta is nothing but t minus d divided by w all right again i will write vc is nothing but v infinity in bracket t minus d divided by w if you write thrust into v infinity minus drag into v infinity divided by w then what is thrust into v infinity it is 
thrust is the force into velocity which is nothing force into velocity is nothing but power so just like a thrust available it is you can write also this is thrust available obviously thrust is the available thing huh? thrust is the available in engine what engine you are using jet engine it means what that thrust is what available for that particular engine yes or no so this is the thrust ta you can write or if you are not writing also t t means what thrust or thrust available that meaning is same so thrust available into velocity is nothing but power available available no? and drag into velocity drag into velocity which is, drag is what this it is like going to dissipate that energy is what going to dissipate similarly this force drag is the opposition because of uh, this opposition because of this resistance force we are burning fuel we are dissipating the energy yes or no that fuel is what burning if drag is not there fuel burning is not required you can understand in that way so drag into velocity is what power power required what i am writing here it is very important okay i will tell you where it is asked it is asked in gate na it is already asked in gate so what is the vc vc is nothing but you can write power available minus power required divided by so <clears throat> this power available and power required is what suppose for any engine available power is what you can say 100 uh, watt okay 100 watt power is what available for that engine and to fly the that uh, aircraft where that engine is what installed power required is what 90 so 100 minus 90 you are getting 10 so that 10 is what it is excess power no it is excess power that is extra power available in your engine excess power yes or no divide by weight weight of what weight of aircraft all right this is very very important this is asked in gate okay so please where i am writing gate it means it is important so you make important part this is asked in your gate anyway so uh, this should be very clear any doubt if you are getting anywhere you please ask what is the vc vc is nothing but pa minus pr divided by w this available power minus required power is nothing but excess power and this is the so excess power by weight excess power by weight this is given another term called specific this is called specific power what it is called it is called specific power huh? pa minus pr that is called excess power okay excess power but per unit weight per unit weight it is called per unit weight it is called specific power understood this is called specific power this was asked in gate what they said they said vc is directly proportional to pa vc is directly proportional to pr required vc is directly proportional to excess power vc is directly proportional to specific power this is the mcq a b c d check what is the correct answer this was the gate no? i will show you gate question so correct answer is nothing but d vc is directly proportional to excess power because ultimately if you solve completely so final what you will get is specific power if you say vc is directly proportional to pa no that is not correct because vc is depending on pa pr and w vc is not depending only on pa or vc is not depending only on pr 
if option c b c is directly proportional to excess power that is also not correct because you have taken power pa and pr in excess power so what weight you are not considering weight is also one matter for very heavy aircraft climbing velocity will be less for light aircraft climbing velocity will be very high like for fighter aircraft within second it will reach 10 km altitude but for passenger aircraft it will take time certain time yes or no so depends on the weight of the aircraft there will be climbing speed that's the reason fighter aircraft climbing speed is very high why because that aircraft weight is very less yes or no so if you go for option c that is also wrong because you are saying excess power means you are talking about pa and pr but you are not talking about weight but if you are saying vc is directly proportional to specific power in the specific power everything you have taken what is everything means pa you have taken pr you have taken and weight you have taken so what is the correct answer option d this is asked in gate okay so make a note of it it is very special no <coughs> all right Hello, now we see again analysis we have to do all the analysis so if like further again question will be asked then you can answer simple no right so vc is nothing but you got delta p divided by w the delta p is nothing but remember excess power <coughs> okay excess power fine now if i want to show you by the diagram here one thing you need to remember if i am saying if i am talking about the power and all then what is the mean of it means i am talking about the propeller driven airplane and at the same time i am talking about the jet propelled airplane why because why i am talking both because that is one thing like in jet engine you will take thrust as a performance parameter because it is constant and in propeller engine you will take power as a performance parameter because power is constant in propeller driven aircraft but if you talk about the rate of climb so that rate of climb will be in both cases i mean rate of climbing for the aircraft will be there for uh, jet engine as well as pro propeller driven engine so for both i am going to draw diagram okay you just look it this is also very important you draw it this is the propeller driven and propeller driven engine or propeller driven aircraft it's your engine and this is the propeller oh, sorry this is the jet engine no? next this is the here this axis you are going to drop power okay this is the power i must write here power this is what power this side and this side we have velocity this side it is velocity i have given both plot to you na for propeller driven and jet engine that power available and power required then can you recall it yes now if i will draw the diagram for the propeller driven i told you for the propeller engine available power is almost constant almost constant means like this yes or no and for the jet engine available power is what it was increasing so it was like this if you remember okay this is what power available in case of jet engine and this is the power available in case of the propeller engine all right now 
now next i want to draw power required so if you remember for jet engine as well as propeller driven engine required power will be same why because it is a required power it is not depending on the types of engine it is required why because drag is there so, so that is the required power is not a function of uh, internal part this is the is the external and available power is the function of internal part of the engine what type of compressor you have used what type of turbine you have used what is the rpm of turbine what is the rpm of compressor what is the injection of the fuel that totally is the uh, depending upon uh, i mean power available is what depending on the compressor uh, efficiency turbine efficiency compressor turbine rpm uh, fuel injection everything is what depending on the uh, whatever you are uh, using in that engine that will directly proportional to the power available but power required is not an internal parameter it's a external if size of the engine is more uh, size of the aircraft is more drag will be more than required power will be more if uh, aircraft size is more then required power will be more if the size of the aircraft is small required power will be less so required power is the external parameter you can say and available power is the internal parameter hope you understood so required power does not depend on the types of engine okay so that required power diagram will be like this in both cases in both cases so this is what this is what pr pr okay so what is the excess power now what is the excess power so here this is the excess power okay. this is the excess power i mean difference between difference between available power and required power is nothing but pa minus pr and this is nothing but delta p similarly here all this is the delta p which is nothing but excess power this is nothing but excess power yes or no both this understood this is the excess power done excess power more rate of climb more excess power less rate of climb less i think up to here it is very clear to all now now so this is the discussion about the excess power discussion about the rate of climb or climbing angle okay discussion about the plot for the propeller driven aircraft and uh, jet driven aircraft yes or no now both thing it is uh, now clear now we'll go for the analysis of the what is the maximum climbing angle what is the maximum rate of climb okay what is the maximum climbing angle and what is the maximum rate of climb now check if i say for the jet aircraft and for the propeller driven aircraft so for both cases we can calculate the climbing angle as well as climbing speed so i can write here here i can write the maximum climbing angle so if you check one heading here maximum climbing angle how to calculate check where is the uh, climbing angle c theta now check you got sin theta is equal to p minus d yes or no divide by 
W. Right? T minus D divided by W. This is the sine theta. You just have seen earlier equation number 3 if you remember. Yes or no? Now, <coughs> this you can write thrust by weight minus drag by weight. Okay. And this one also you can write thrust by weight minus 1 upon W by D you can write. Okay. <clears throat> you know what is the relation here directly L is equal to W you cannot say. Because if you say L is equal to W, it means straight level flight. So, what is the L and W relation now? L is equal to W cos theta. Yes or no? L is equal to W cos theta. So, now <coughs> L is equal to W cos theta. But if you are saying that climbing angle is what? Very less. Okay, if you are saying climbing angle is what very less, then one approximation you may get. What is the approximation? I will show you. That approximation is very clear. You can say this is nothing but sine theta first minus weight minus 1 upon L by W is what? Just now you have seen it is nothing but L is equal to W cos theta. So, that theta you can say it is uh, small. Okay. Then W approximate you can write just for understanding I am saying so that it, it should be very clear. Otherwise an, another option also I have to explain. I just want to tell you this sin theta will be maximum. When when this value is what maximum. Is that true? Because this denominator will be maximum. So, this whole value will be minimum. If this whole value will be minimum, then difference will be minimum. Yes or uh, difference will be maximum. Because see L by D is max means denominator is max. It means this whole this value will be what minimum. If this is minimum, then this T by W minus something that difference will be very high. So, you will get sin theta max or theta max you will get. So, overall idea, otherwise you can understand here also. I told you two options I have. What? Another is, see in this way you can understand sin theta max. Uh, sin theta max is nothing but thrust minus. Okay. Thrust means what? Thrust available and it is D divided by W. So, here also you can understand if you want sin theta max or if you want theta max meaning is same so you you will have a sign inverse t a minus d mean by w now if you want theta max or sin theta max then this uh, difference should be maximum and when difference will be maximum when this drag will be minimum so in both cases maybe you will go by this way or that approximated method instead of W because cost term will come you, but you said okay you can you want to neglect so you have neglected. So L by D max so this both I mean here this L by D max and this D mean what it is saying it is saying for for maximum this is the gate question okay for maximum climbing angle aircraft should fly aircraft should fly at minimum drag condition it should be very clear na in short it is proved what it is proved for maximum 
climbing angle or for maximum rate of climb that aircraft should fly at minimum drag condition at minimum drag condition you can understand by this way or by this way also this l by d max is what this is the minimum drag this is one marks question they are asking in gate okay they are saying for maximum angle of climb or maximum rate of climb or for maximum climbing angle aircraft should fly option a minimum drag condition option b minimum power uh, minimum power required condition okay or option c both a and b correct option d none of the above so what is the correct answer aircraft should fly minimum drag condition okay you need to remember this is very important na? this is very important that's the reason i told you this whole topic especially climbing is very important because every year they are asking question one or two question from the climbing okay now so what is the minimum drag condition what is the minimum drag condition that you know you are master in that no what is the minimum drag condition can you tell me it is nothing but cd is equal to cd not is equal to cdi parasite drag is equal to induced drag no and cdi is nothing but k c l square so you got here clmd what is the clmd cd not by k for the calculation and cdmd is nothing but 2 cd not so whenever the aircraft will fly whenever the aircraft will <coughs> they will ask for the maximum climbing angle immediately you have to use concept of minimum drag condition they will give to you drag polar you calculate CLMD, CDMD for further calculation. Whatever it is required, you do. What is the needful thing? You do it. All right. This is very important. No? Now, one question we need to solve. So, it will be easy to you go for uh, next uh, topic. No? Because now for...